reviews. I'm Bookworm. I love to eat and read books. Today we will be enjoying one of my personal favorites, one which I've eaten many, many times. F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. The Great Gatsby takes place in 1920 New York. Nick Carraway has come from the Midwest to seek his fortune in New York. He moves in to Jay Gatsby, who is very rich and has a very big house. But most of it is for show, and it's really just one giant scenery to try and convince people what Gatsby isn't. Also in the city is Nick's cousin, Daisy, and her mean husband, Tom. Tom's mistress is Myrtle Wilson, who is very plump with a knife. Her husband is Tom Wilson, who is a auto mechanic. Tom lives next door to the eyes of Dr. T.J. Eckelberg, which symbolizes a faded god watching over the valley of ashes, symbolizing the fallenness of many of the people. Gatsby has giant parties. One of his guests is Allies, who has big glasses so he can see through Gatsby's scenery. Gatsby works for Meyer Wilson, who is a gangster. Turns out that Gatsby was boyfriend to Daisy a very long time ago, and he convinces Nick to get them back together. Once they get back together, Gatsby catches a clock off a mantelpiece, symbolizing that he is trying to reclaim time that has gone by. Gatsby then shows Daisy his closet of clothes, representing he should never wear white after Labor Day. Gatsby has Daisy and Tom for one of his parties, but Tom doesn't like it. So then they all get together at a hotel, where they get very, really, very, really, very really angry at each other. So then, Gatsby drives off with Daisy, but then they kill Murder with their car. The next day, Nick tells Gatsby he's better than the whole lot of the rest of them, and then Tom kills Gatsby. No one shows up to Gatsby's funeral except for Nick and Gatsby's father and allies, because allies is passing judgment. He is kind of like a god figure because he has glasses. Does that mean bookworms are gods? I wonder. Nick leaves the city never to return. Me and... What a lovely story! F. Scott Fitzgerald starts the great Gatsby off with a poem written by his pen name, Thomas Park the Invalid, who first appeared in This Side of Paradise, one of his earlier novels. It is a funny poem, but one which captures the essence of the whole novel. Here to perform the poem is Nazar. Thanks, Bookworm! Oh, uh, can you hear the music? Okay. Where you go now, I did that one over. You can bounce high, bounce for you. Down she is right, go ahead, high, bouncing over, high, bouncing over, high, with a view. High, bouncing over, high, with a view. Yo! Yeah! Thank you, Nazar! That was excellent! Now, there are some other things. Bookworm, Bookworm. Oh, what is it for Randy? Bookworm, I got some pictures to show you the great dance me. Oh, bring them over. He would love to see these, wouldn't we? Hi, I'm for Randy. And he took pictures of the great dance me when he go when they went to visit my good friend, Meyer Wolfshine. So, uh, yeah, here are my pictures. Okay, okay. So here's me fixing the 1919 World Series with Meyer Wolfsheim. And here's Tom Buchanan using an arcane ritual to summon the eyes of Dr. T.J. Eckelberg from his like, prison to wreak vengeance on Gatsby. And here's the eyes of Dr. T.J. Eckelberg summoning his army of Ashmen. And here's the eyes of Dr. T.J. Eckelberg destroying New York City. Oh, and there's me. Oh, and here's me when Gatsby had to rescue Daisy off the top of the Empire State Building from, like, King Kong. And then here's my wolf sign mowing down like an army of Ashmen with his Tommy guns. And then here's Isaac T.J. Applework being beamed up to the mothership to return one day. And there's me. I was watching, and I took a picture. Yeah. I also got some video to show you. Uh, can we show that bookworm? I surf me! You like me? I'm a TJ Eckelberg. Uh, 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 uh. I ran away. Uh, oh no, wait. 
freaking this way. Uh, uh, wait, I'm confused. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, uh, oh man. Uh oh. Uh, 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 uh. I'm lost. And that's how I spent my summer vacation. Thanks for having me, Bookworm. Oh, any time you are feel so free to take more vacations and tell us about them later. I will. If you have enjoyed Bookworm's book reviews, we recommend the Bible A Parody by Samuel Miller. It's a very good book, and we suggest you all read it or eat it. That's just about wraps it up for this edition of Bookworm's Book Reviews. This is Bookworm saying, if you're not going to read it, then I'm going to eat it. See you next time.